five miles an hour. Jonathan. All right, Kendall, thank you. Welcome to the Cooking Corner. This afternoon, we welcome back Mike Bausch of Andalini's. He's here just in time for National Pizza Day, which is coming up this Sunday. And today, we're going to make Andalini's Margarita of Savoy Pizza. Mike, welcome back. Uh, this is a, a very simple pizza. Very simple. It'd be a good one, you know, if you just want to make pizza at home for the first time. This might be a good starter one, would you say? It's the first pizza, so classically, it works great for a starter pizza. Right. Now, this pizza is an homage to Queen Margarita, not uh, Cinco de Mayo Margarita, <laughs> but uh, Queen Margarita of Savoy. And the pizza has the colors of the Italian flag. So San Marzano tomatoes, okay. real San Marzano tomatoes from Italy, are very hard to come by because uh, there's only so much. And, and most tomatoes that you'll see at supermarkets are what I call liar tomatoes. <laughs> not real ones. Not real ones. So these are real, genuine San Marzano tomatoes. And I'm going to take these and, and kind of just mix it around, put that on this crust, and then we're going to put the other colors of the flag, white and green, via mozzarella mm -hmm. and some fresh basil. And this is kind of unique, too, because it actually has pieces of, of large tomato on it. It's not just the sauce. It's pieces of tomato. You can really taste and see. I mean, right now, you, it's, we're not in smell vision but it is right. an intense uh, tomato flavor yes, and smell that's, that's percolating right now. And then we'll take some mozzarella that we make fresh at Andalini's, and I'll do uh, rips and tears of them so that they have a okay. nice uh, big high height to them when they go in the oven, so they'll have a nice char on the top because they're closer to the top of the oven. Kind of globs of mozzarella. Exactly. Globs is a very appropriate <laughs> term. And we're excited uh, for National Pizza Day because yeah. we are partnering with um, my pizza team, the World Pizza Champions, and donating pizzas to homeless shelters across America today and all throughout the weekend. And for us, Andalini's in Tulsa, we're going to be donating pizzas and feeding John 316 right here in downtown Tulsa. Awesome. So for National Pizza Day, you, you said you were telling me you recommend to kind of donate to your local charity. If you... If you uh, own a restaurant by any means, please help <laughs> out. But if you don't, uh, John 316 is a great organization right here in Tulsa that helps Tulsans. If you want to see what you donate make an impact, you can directly help those less fortunate. And John 316 is doing great work. I highly encourage people to check them out. They are the real deal. Definitely. All right, so what, what have you done since then? You, what did you put on there just now? So we put the mozzarella, and now this is fresh basil. I like to rip it up and really get the, the perfume of the basil onto the pizza. Uh, Really, it, you can smell oh, so much going strong. on. It's great. Yeah. And then before we bake it off, we'll put another little uh, bit of olive oil. And I put some Pecorino Romano, which is just the best uh, grated Parmesan you could possibly imagine uh -huh. from Italy as well. A very Italian pizza that we love to celebrate National Pizza Day. Perfect. And if you're making this at home, how long should you bake it? Genuinely, you want to look at the pizza and Go anywhere from six to nine minutes. If you're at 550 degrees, I suggest using a pizza stone. But when it's the color of a deep brown, just short of a char, that's when you should pull it. You really, people underestimate how long you can cook a pizza. Right, and you just want it really, really hot. Yes, yes. hot helps. Yes, hot as helps. hot as possible. <laughs> Mike, thank you so much. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you. You can check out many more recipes just like this one. Just go.